So here's a little story time for today, a story you may be familiar with if you have some familiarity with history. Toward the end of World War II, after Germany and Italy had already cashed in, the world was looking at Japan to do the same. A document was drafted called the Potsdam Declaration that demanded Japan unconditionally surrender. To use the modern vernacular, Japan wasn't feeling it, so they decided they were going to continue to fight. A determination that threatened to make the war last for many more months or even possibly years. However, the United States had a literal secret weapon, something that they had developed partially because they knew the Germans were working on it and they wanted to beat them to the punch, but it was a weapon that they knew could end the war, the atomic bomb. The United States picked out four cities as targets and then eventually wound up dropping atomic bombs on two of them. Six days later, the Japanese emperor signed the Potsdam Declaration and Japan had surrendered. And boy, don't we just love a good nuclear option. It's quick, it's painless, at least for us, and it's even a little bit cruel, which makes it a, just, um, just a little bit nicer. But the nuclear option doesn't solve every problem doesn't even solve most problems. Hell, since World War II, no one's even used a nuclear weapon in a war. But it just seems that whenever we're dealing with a problem, we're always looking for that big answer that'll solve everything. We want to find that pill that'll make us neurotypical, the shot that'll make us lose weight, that relationship that'll finally make us feel something. But the painful, ironic truth is real solutions to problems are contained in little bite-sized, fun-sized little nuggets. Like the old saying goes, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. A book by James Clear that really drove that point home for me is called Atomic Habits. And in that book, there's a metaphor that really drives home the point that I'm trying to make. A plane takes off in Los Angeles, heading to New York City. However, because of pilot error, the plane is pointed 3.5 degrees farther south than it should be. A mistake that's so barely noticeable. Watching that plane take off at LAX, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference between that and another plane heading to New York. And by the time the plane manages to fly across the United States, the pilot and the passengers look down to find their plane flying directly over Washington, D.C., with New York City being literally hundreds of miles away. So what started out as being barely off course at the beginning turns out to be a huge change by the end. And those times when we decide to tackle a problem and are actually able to find a solution, we do it the same way, by making small, almost seemingly useless changes, but having those changes add up and grow exponentially over time, which is why it's very difficult, almost impossible to come up with solutions to problems because small changes don't seem like they're going to make any difference. And we spend our time instead trying to come up with large solutions. And then we waste our time basically trying to win the lottery. We're simply not patient enough to grow gardens, which is why we spend all our time trying to eat seeds. And one of the reasons why I'm a big fan of James Clear's book is that even the title itself illustrates the problems that we have when it comes to making changes in our lives. Atomic Habits sounds like big, powerful change, an explosion that rocks your life and you're never the same again. But what Clear means when he's talking about atomic is he means literally atoms, small units that comprise all of matter, the building blocks, the bricks that make massive skyscrapers. I don't know about you, but I can definitely tell you in my life, I've spent way too much time looking for a windfall and not enough time trying to get that small win. But any success that I've gotten in my life, I've built it a little at a time, brick by brick, atom by atom.